Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Finance Automation Destination. So, so far we have discussed about the core components in BDD Cucumber. We discussed about feature files, step definitions, runners, tag books, hooks, and the background keyword. Today we are going to discuss about how to utilize page object model in BDD Cucumber to write the cleaner code and how to utilize page object model. Okay. So without further delay, let me jump onto the code side. Meanwhile, in case you want to take a look on my previous videos, I'll be sharing the link of same in the i icon. You can go back to my previous videos and gain more understanding on BDD Cocopper concepts. So this is uh, uh, the example that we are covering. So let us discuss on the pedobic model part today. So uh, this is the example that we are discussing since starting when we are trying to launch an application and uh, then we have we are entering credentials username and password we are clicking on login and we are very like the dashboard uh, production dashboard so these particular three steps belong to login uh, page uh, not login page this particular two steps i mean because on the login page we are entering username we are entering password and we are clicking on login and this part is a common part across all the scenarios this, so this part is already moved to hooks in case you want to understand you can go back to my hooks as well as tab books video so herein we are defining the Chrome driver, initializing the Chrome driver and launching the source demo, right? So this line, I was discussing about this line, this part, this line was moved to hooks. Now, if I go inside the step definition of this particular test case, what we are doing, we are initializing the element of each page, each element, I, I mean, uh, like within the same code, right? Which will make it messy uh, with the uh, with the uh, framework, uh, when the framework will outgrow, I mean when the framework will expand so it will be difficult to uh, manage or maintain this because today it is a uh, three four line or like uh, 100 line of code 67 line of code right now but tomorrow it can it may become um, 200 300 line of code and for example then there is a change in locator so it will become difficult to come here and changing the locator elements uh, so to overcome this um, what what is the provision so there is a provision of page object model using which what we can do we can uh, similar to whatever the pages we have in the application we can create those many classes in the java so what i have done i have created pages package wherein i'm created i have created login page because we have so far dealt about login page and dashboard so i have created two pages login and dashboard so in login page what i have done i have defined uh, all three elements which i was using username password and login button so this is the syntax of uh, uh, like uh, defining a locator type for the element so you see public web element this is web element type and at the rate find by is an annotation which is similar to and perform the similar function like driver.find element right now the question will come how to use this element so in order to use these elements as this is java or any object in any object oriented language what we need we need to in order to use these particular elements what i need i need an object of it so for that what i have done i have created a constructor why i have created a parameterized constructor because for initialization of any element on the page we need driver reference which we would be using in the step definition right which we have already learned about so we are passing whenever we want to create or uh, when we whenever we want to use these particular elements what we, what we will do we'll simply create an object of login page with driver reference so that we will have the driver reference that will initialize username password and login button similarly for dashboard also we'll do, do like that so without further delay, let me jump on to the code side and let us try to convert it. In case you want me to cover page object model separately, you can ping me or you can like put, put it in comments. I'll try to create a separate video on page object model. So if you will observe, I have username. So what I want, I want to simply use uh, username, uh, which I have defined, but I cannot simply use username, not this username. I mean, this username, if I want to use, I cannot simply use it because I don't have object created. So what I need to do, I need to simply create an object of it. So before that, what I need, I'm just defining the reference variable, class level variable, login page, so that I can use it across all the methods. Similarly, I'll do it for the dashboard also, dashboard page, right? Now, what I will do, I because we are, this is the first step when we will come from here. This is the first step. Driver has already been initialized in the hooks part. Uh, and we are using using static import. We are uh, uh, like uh, using this uh, same driver reference. So what I'm going to do, this is the line where I'm uh, 
where we will first come from the scenario side i am going to simply create login page reference which I, we have already defined i am going to create an object of login page i'll pass driver right similarly for dashboard also i'll do the same thing or i may not require dashboard here because we haven't we don't have need of dashboard so far we have need of dashboard here because after login in into the dashboard uh, into the application then only we need dashboard so i'm going to simply create new dashboard and uh, driver i'm passing right so this way we are keeping the code clean and uh, now uh, as we have uh, initialized the uh, object we have created the object of login page now we can access the element of login page so what i will do i will simply replace two line code two line of code below uh, like line number 46 and 47 with this form page object model i mean i will simply use username and then after i will copy this line of code and uh, i'll simply do it for password also dot password and dot send case i'll copy this password similarly and i'm going to remove these two lines right so once this is done so next step is because now we don't need to write this line again in this user click on login because what we have done we have defined it at the global level at the class level so that we can use it across different methods so i'll simply use login page dot uh, login button in this case dot click and i'm removing this particular line of code once after this because in this case we have defined dashboard so i'll simply replace this particular line of code with dashboard dot uh, what we need product level right and is displayed so we have converted the that messy code with this readable kind of code so now when there is a change in locator we will simply come here uh, at the common location and we can change the locator values we can change uh, for example tomorrow expo is not working you can replace it with id and it will simply work and you don't need to go to the code side and change it this way that main code or code part will become less vulnerable right now what i'm going to do i'm going to simply run this particular test case i have tagged it with page object model i'm going to ui test now wherein i'm providing this particular tag so that i'll run this particular test case so let us try to run this So if you'll observe it has launched the application and it has entered uh, the username and password and it verified the steps as well so you can verify it from here i'm in chrome which is we have already covered so first of all the control is come here came here and then after uh, this particular login feature it has three steps one two and three so for that first time before before step second time before step and third time before steps likewise after step also and at last after scenario for com is getting executed and uh, we can cross verify from the report part also like this particular test case got executed so let me show you from the browser side so we will see that user has entered username user click on login and user verify products on the dashboard so this is how it uh, how we can utilize with the model to write much simpler code uh, in BDD Copper, and this is the best approach to write the code for the UI application automation. So uh, that is it for now, uh, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I would uh, request you to please like, share, and subscribe my video. Thank you.